All right, in this example, we're going to write the equation of a line in slope-intercept form, but the line has to go through these two points. So, since it's going to be in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, we know that the slope is m and the y-intercept is b. Now, in this example, there's, there's, they've, they've not given us the y-intercept because none of the values of x are zero. So, we're going to have to figure out what the slope is first. All right, and in this example, we're going to go ahead and use the equation y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to do after that is to figure out which, we, which of the points we want to be the first point and which point we want to be point 2. Now, this is arbitrary, and you may have chosen a different point 2 and point 1, but I'm just going to go ahead and keep it in order as it is. This is our first point and our second point. And so now what I'll do is go ahead and write this equation out, but I'm going to replace the x1, x2, y1, and y2 with their corresponding values. So we have 5 minus 3 all over negative 4 minus negative 1. Now the thing you're going to want to be careful with is to make sure that you don't mistake this minus with what that negative is. Otherwise you're going to get a negative 4 minus 1 which is a negative 5 but in actuality the answer here in the denominator is a negative 3. So just be careful with that. The numerator should be easy enough. 5 minus 3 is 2. So again this is our slope and we'll go ahead and look in the equation and replace that with the 2 over negative 3. So there's our equation. Let's go ahead and replace the m with 2 over negative 3. Now some of you may be wondering why I put the negative with the denominator. That just has to do with how we set this up. If you had made this point, this point 2, and negative 4, 5 as your point 1, the only difference between your slope and mine is that the 2 is negative for you and the 3 is positive. All right, the final thing we want to do is to figure out the y-intercept. In order to do that, all we're going to do is set up the same equation, y equals 2 over negative 3x plus b, but I'm going to choose one of these points to replace these x and y values with. And uh, it doesn't matter which one you choose, you'll still get the same y-intercept, and that's because of the slope. So let's go ahead and choose this first point, negative 1, 3, just looking at this, I'm choosing this again. Uh, there's no reason at all other than, uh, for me, I can see it has a 1 in, in the x value, which is going to make it very easy to calculate. So let's go ahead and replace the x and y with negative 1 and 3, respectively. All right, so there you have it. And finally, this will give us a positive 2 thirds here after multiplying by negative 1 because we have two negatives in this term. And from this point, we're just going to subtract two-thirds from both sides. And these will cancel out. And that will give us our answer. Let's take a closer look at this. Three minus two-thirds, but we want to make sure that we have common denominators. So three is actually nine-thirds minus the two-thirds, which is Seven thirds. That's our y intercept. Seven thirds. Let's go ahead and replace that in our equation. And y equals two over negative three x plus seven thirds. This is slope intercept form. And uh, that's it. All right. Thanks again for watching. Hopefully, this has been helpful for you.